All right. Um, I'm playing League uh, against Furcol, and uh, this board has Gamble Souk. Um, so that's kind of a big deal. Uh, let's see. You started Gamble Silver. That's probably reasonable ish. Uh, I should probably start gamble something to get the, the shuffle. Well, I guess that's maybe not really true. Um, I'm trying to think here, like if I have a pawn, I'd have to card coin it. I don't, I don't think that does to a state. So I might just be better off trying to open silver, silver and get some souks in with, uh, more major trashes. I'm not sure exactly. Um, This, this board just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel very good. Uh, I guess I'm, I guess I'm probably gonna start a silver here, like, the, the problem with like doing a gamble and pawn and crossroads is I'm not actually gonna hit the numbers, uh, that I need afterwards. Uh, so, that's pretty not good. Um, I don't think it's worth it to gamble right here. I guess there's also like the Seer Crossroads deck that I don't think is particularly good either. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take another Silver. Like the alternative is Hideout, but I really want to start hitting 5 and then add the Hideouts after. Yeah, so like this is going to be Sook. Uh, no, no question. Uh, maybe this can be Crossroads. I guess I can also uh, gamble forward, like if I gamble through two cards or so, that's maybe okay. I don't know. Um, I think Crossroads is also probably just okay. Uh, I should gamble at least, well I should gamble twice because that's a silver. Just get through, get through a bit more. Okay, this will be hideout. Uh, I guess there's actually a souk down there. I should um, gamble. Uh, let's see, if I gamble into souk right now, it'll produce five coins. Yeah. Um, what is that? That's a copper. Might be a silver. No, it's a copper, right? So if I gamble it, I still hit five. Um, I think the deck that I'm facing right now is just wrong. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, we can do one more. Just want all, like all the souks. Just wrong, I hope. Anyways, I haven't really been paying too much attention to what it's doing, but I don't have a lot of faith in in it. Um, let's see. I guess I should probably keep the silvers around. Um. Yeah, we can gamble through the rest of this. Uh, I'll leave the crossroads, I guess. Um, I could have festival. I think I'm gonna go like souk festival here. The festival isn't like amazing, but it's okay. Okay, the festival's amazing. Um, well, you're certainly drawing a lot. Maybe you take like a Swamp Hag. I could think about adding Swamp Hag this turn and gambling it. I should have the, I should have the deck power. Like, like this turn can be Empty Souk. Um. Yeah. 
to gamble through some copper, maybe some silver. Okay, so I got empty souk right here for sure, I think. Um, can I get through both pawns and estates here? I guess so, right? Pawns cost, uh, yeah, so like I pawn, gamble, coin buy. Um, that costs me, um, I get all the buys back. And let's see, it's minus. 32, I guess it doesn't quite get back there, so I should gamble some Swamp Hags. Um, giant? I don't think so. I think I, I think I might just take Provinces from here. I don't know. Um, vault seems okay, maybe. Um, another swamp hag, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was a, that was a combo thing. Um, and I, I knew it and you didn't. Uh, so, yeah. That's, that's that game. Um, On to, oh, Treasure Lamp with Triumph. That's exciting. By which I mean completely terrifying. Um, alright. Uh, I guess Sybil is the only draw, which makes it a little, oh. Golem's also a draw, let's not forget that. Uh, I guess I'm gonna start Herb Gather Amulet, maybe? I do, I do like having the herb gather in just to have control over the, 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 the rotation. I guess I might go herb gather research instead. I don't know that the amulet's actually that amazing. Maybe. Um, oh, herb, herb get, oh no, there's, there's loot, so herb gather definitely is not the only buy. Oh, there's also treasure stupid spell scroll. So doing that and then triumph seems like probably a, a good result, but uh, we'll have to get there first. Um, vampire looks terrifying. Um, okay. Clearly it's not ideal, but we'll live with it. Um, I'm going to rotate past and I think take a guide. Yeah. I think, I think Guide Over Cave is fine. Uh, well, so much for hitting five here, potentially. I guess I wasn't going to anyways, I was gonna hit four. Um, Cave? Sure. Alright, so we'll research here. I'm um, getting the estates out like all I could really ask for. Um, maybe take an amulet. I'm not that into the amulet, I guess. Maybe not. Um, I could also just take a silver, like if lamp is the real thing I want to do, which I think it is. Yeah, so this is, this is real good. Uh, well, maybe not. I guess I'm not actually guaranteed to get the lamp out here. I was some, somehow thinking that the herb gather was going to help me out, but it's it's not at all. Um, so I could guide. I guess if I guide that, it, it works. Okay. Um, so don't rotate and then something like this. Okay. Um, now what? Maybe like Mountain Village Amulet. Oh, I want to get a bit more trash down, right? Uh, 
I feel like I'm not doing this one the, the best possible here. Oh, maybe you can act. No, you can't activate both. Um, so now what? I mean, I guess one thing is, like, ideally I'd kind of be wishing for Sibyls. Uh, so that's something to, to try to do while I have the chance. Um, it's a wish. Uh, what do I want to do with this wish? Maybe I just want a vampire with it. I can discard three. And grab vampire. Uh, that's fine and good. Uh, maybe take a treasure out of it. That seems reasonable, I think. Like, I'll be able to wish for Mountain Village or something here. Uh, pick up the treasure. I don't think I want to guide this. No. Um, so I can, like, pick up the treasure. Um... I think I do want to rotate. Uh, and then trash out copper. That seems probably good. I think it's better than taking key or the copper out of the trash. Uh, like I could hit nine. Well, maybe I take the key. Let's take the key and hit nine. I'll go like Mountain Village Sorceress. It's in here. Mountain Village Estate. So I'm going to guide this for sure. Um, as much as I'd like to be taking Sibyls. Well. Hmm. Look, I feel like with you not having wishes, I'm kind of okay. But... I, I think I'm guide. No, I can guide this because I can mountain village the herb gather. That's right. Um, so yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to mountain village the herb gatherer. Play the herb gatherer. Put copper rotate. Wish for Sybil. Uh, Sybil, top deck, a card like an estate, bottom deck, a card like a copper. So it's just a state, start to give some curses, hooray. Um, let's see here, I have a mountain village in there, so that's good. Uh, I do still want to hit six, which I guess I can just do. Um, taking key. Sybil. Well, maybe Sybil's not actually the best right there. Maybe, uh, like, uh, a pickaxe is a little bit better. Let's think for a moment. No, I think, I think I do want the draw. I think I do want the draw. And trash those out. Yeah. Um, alright. So here I'm going to gain a silver, uh, and I guess I will pick up Sybil. Uh, this is great. Um, top deck a card like a copper, bottom deck a card like a copper. Uh, I didn't find guide, which is kind of sad. I guess I should research a silver here to make up for that. Uh, just because next turn otherwise is looking pretty ugly. 
let's just get another Sybil and then a pickaxe. So you can start getting some of these loot. Hopefully one of which is spell scroll, but I'm not overly amazed. Like you'll get the six wishes, which is gonna be annoying, sure. Um I may not even be able to get uh whatever thing back a shield. Okay. Well, at least it's not what's its face. The thing. You really should take a sibyl here. Like maybe Sybil Triumph. I don't think Triumph's really in order yet. I don't know. Yeah. It would really behoove me to find um, my treasure right here. Okay. Um, well, I guess I could herb gather first. I don't actually know if I have any treasures left is the thing. I mean, Sybil's the most likely card still, right? Well, let's herb gather first. We'll pickaxe the uh, silver. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, we're going to have to do the thing. Uh, Sybil is most likely, and I did find it. So let's see here. I need to... Let's go, like, top deck, bottom deck. And then let's go, like, top deck, bottom deck. Uh, I guess I can like spell scroll for another pickaxe if I want to produce an extra buy still. Yeah. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, I can pull out the um, spell scroll right here. I don't know if that's what I really what I want to do with my terminal, but it seems like something that possibly should happen. Uh, let's just do it. Um, okay, so now we have to do the thing. because that's how we're going to get Big Triumph. Um, I might spell scroll for another pickaxe, actually, over taking a lamp back. I'm not sure. Like, I think I want to spell scroll for another pickaxe. Uh, try to get one more plus buy out of this, which I do. Um, so let's trash, firm, uh, and then just like quad triumph, like now's the time. I mean, I have all these treasures in my deck, but I don't think you're going to be able to make that many points, maybe? I don't know. That's my guess anyways. I mean, there's no, there's no treasure spell scroll to like get back. So 
you can do it, but I don't think it produces enough points. Like, mostly my goal here is that actually just going to be to take out the rest of these estates. Um, he's fine. Uh, top deck, bottom deck. Uh, I guess we're going to herb gather first. No, I want to herb gather last. Uh, top deck, bottom deck. Let's pull a lamp or pull spell scroll. I guess I can pull lamp. Um, herb gather, yeah. Blah, pickaxe, a treasure. Uh, don't rotate, pickaxe, another treasure. Amazing. Uh, lamp. Oh, there's no more lamp left. I guess I can do a spell scroll then. Um, amphora, goat, don't trash, spell scroll for herb gather again. Max buys. Uh, can I just win otherwise? Like, do I take new research? No, I don't think so. I guess I could do vampire. Let's do another herb gather. Uh, I don't want to play sextant. I guess we'll not play anything. Lamp. Oh, that doesn't even activate somehow. Anyways, um, what do I want to do? I could just like take, uh, research, research, and then three triumphs. Copper, triumph, triumph, triumph. Like, there's not enough points left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got spell scroll, so that was kind of a really good move on my part, wasn't it? I thought it was a good move on my part to, to randomly get spell scroll and be able to do that. Just, just personally. Uh, I mean, it, it was just, that was just a game, right? <laughs> Um, okay, what do we have here? We have procession awkwardness, that's what we have here. I mean, it certainly seems good enough, right? Like, as a thing to do. I think. I mean, you could also just play, like, trickster pirate money. There's not actually that much reward to the procession stuff, I don't think, but I think I'm going to do it anyways, start like Lookout Baron. Um, Trickster does seem really, really important. I mean, I think I want to start with the Lookout no matter what, so yeah, let's do it. Um, then I think Baron's fine. I, th I think it really is just going to be this stuff as opposed to anything too exciting. Pirate Trickster. Um, the, the rewards just, the rewards just aren't really there. Um, okay. This is fine. Uh, rat catcher looks better than patrician. So yeah, here I think I'm just going to take trickster. Maybe pirate first. Yeah, I'm kind of liking pirate first. We can go like pirate patrician here, pirate rat catcher. So if you do Trickster, I might actually just follow you on that. Yeah. Whoa. These draws have been weird. <laughs> no, so that Baron down there sucks a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to take Patrician, though.
I wonder if I spend both rat catchers here, or if I just do one. Like, is patrician plus copper better than a trashed copper? Hmm? Maybe. It's just, it's also a little bit tough because I know I'm going to be triggering a shuffle like right now. So, um, I guess it can also be a silver. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, we're good. We'll get an estate out. So it's extra, extra good, extra good. Uh, rat catcher, stay, look out, discard, this, all this stuff. Uh, would I rather have a pirate or a trickster? I think I'd actually rather have a trickster, like trickster patrician, seems okay. Um, although with you having two pirates, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Oh, I should also get City Gate, I guess. Like maybe Trickster City Gate's a little bit better. But well, I'm about to be shuffling. Alright, Pirate City Gate, it is. I'll get Trickster this turn, I guess. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to trash out a state and take Trickster. You'll have some incentive to buy a treasure here because you have two pirates uh, in hand. Or gain a treasure, which is good for me. Um, that's my theory anyways, and I'm gonna stick to it. Yeah, awesome. Um, gold, gold, city gate. Uh, I might actually just top deck the lookout. Um, do, 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 there. Uh, could take like two patricians. I guess I can also just take like patrician province. It's probably about time to, to start on this given that we're not really trying to draw. Which maybe it'll be something that I end up regretting, but. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you're just following. Um, doesn't really matter. We'll give max search space here. Uh, okay. This is a little annoying because I'm not gonna reach, um, a magic number. Uh, you do not have, well, hmm. You, you don't have a pirate out, so it's actually sort of unlikely that you're going to be getting a treasure this turn, which is tempting me to discard this pirate. Um, yeah. And I think it is dutchy time. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you watched me, um, discard the, the thing, but I think that's fine. Like, you watched me discard the pirate, so you probably okay with taking a treasure right here. Or at least you can imagine that you are. Um, 
Yeah. So maybe I should have kept the pirate around. Oh well, whatever. Um. So this is probably going to miss whatever number I'm looking at. Uh, well, I guess it's 13, which is fine, because, like, province duchy is productive. Uh, I'm going to, I think, trash the estate out. It'll kind of nix the baron, but whatever. Oh, it's only 12, and I didn't take my plus buy, so that was also kind of stupid. It's okay. Um, I, I really should have taken my plus buy rather than play the second patrician. <laughs> we'll live. We'll live. Um, okay. Let's see, should this just be province? Or, or should I try to do something funky. I think it should just be province. Well, this is gross. Sort of. I mean, you could province duchy. That seems dangerous, given that you know that I have trickster and a pirate out. So I'm actually sort of expecting a double duchy right here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I think my move's actually going to be to trash the Baron with Lookout. I could trash a Copper in addition. Which I think I will do. I guess my main concern right now is that I may have a little bit of a tough time hitting a big number. I don't, I don't really know what number I'm trying to avoid. Um, what I actually really want to do is, um, see the, uh, okay, so I mean, this can be two duchies if I really want it to be. I think I'm going to go for a bit more, though. Okay, uh, so, like, I think, um, I think province duchy is fine. Eh, I'm not so sure about that. I may just want a double duchy or like trickster duchy. I guess I could also go like, um, you discarded a pirate last turn, although you should have one in this hand. Um, I guess I'd probably just go double duchy. I mean, I'd want to give the curse, but. Double duchy. Whoa, look at this hand. <laughs> this is bad stuff. I mean, I guess it's not to be unexpected. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Um, well, I'm, I'm just taking the duchy here, right? Yeah. It can, it can like minorly force a province out of you, maybe. So. I mean, I think that, I think this is a good spot to be in, at least. Um.
So like you're gonna province. I mean you should. Um okay, so this is just ends up winning. Awesome. Um I don't know how much there was to that one. Uh it was fine. Uh, in other news, I'm at three wins, so it doesn't matter a whole lot what happens these last three games, which is a really nice thing. Um, let's see, we have Citadel, which is a village, um, and we also have Clerk, which is actually does not play very nicely with Citadel. Uh, there's also Quartermaster. That actually seems sort of important with Citadel, even though the, the fours are a little lackluster. Um, oh, I'm going to start Grotto something. Probably Grotto Clerk. I think this is like... I've, somehow I've seen Grotto Clerk like a gazillion times uh, in my games, despite having not played in Plunder Release, where it's like a major combo. Um, but yeah, I think like pair of Grottos get up to big stuff, maybe add like two Quartermasters. Seems good. Um, let's see here. Now well, we're just gonna set aside all of them. It's not ideal, but it'll be fine. Like I can get a uh, what's it? Altar or treasurer if I think that's better, which I think it might be. I'm not sure. I think treasure is better. Because, like, the the first order is kind of get Citadel, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We, we might end up playing this more money-ish, which, like, Citadel and Treasure, Citadel and Clerk, both end up being good, really good things. Um, copper on top, I'm going to get another Grotto right here. Clerk. I'm gonna do Grotto only two of them because uh, I want to take like uh, take the key and maybe get a uh, quartermaster. Could also get a cartographer right now before I have the citadel, but I'm I'm liking quartermaster. Like I don't think it's anything that's that. Essential, it's just, um, yeah, otherwise, otherwise fine. Uh, let's get another clerk. This, uh, collision has not been impressing me very much. Uh, assuming you don't take key here, I'll get Citadel, which is really nice to have. Um, Oh, I'll even get to, oh man, this is, this is great. I'm gonna get to, uh, do a thing. Uh, do nothing, Citadel. I'll get to, uh, d -d 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 Citadel the Quartermaster, which is outstanding. Bam. Uh, so that was good. Uh, I don't think I want another grotto right here, but now I can like uh quartermaster for I don't know poacher or something. Uh, clerk twice before we could even just go for silver. Um, but I think I'm gonna like gain poacher, take poacher. Uh, set aside all four still, maybe. Um, and get a, uh, cartographer. So now I should be, like, in, in really nice, even business. Um, I'll, I'll have lots of, lots of options. I mean, I guess I can just, like, double clerk every turn and be really happy about that, too. Um, so let's go Grotto, uh, Double Clerk, well, Quartermaster Grotto. Um, 
taking keys, fine. Provinces. Yeah, something on top. Having a doubled quartermaster is just amazing. Like, I cannot express how amazing that is. All right, uh, grotto, double clerk, uh, key. Uh, I guess I can actually just take two estates right here because I've gotten everything that I want. Um, let's see, I can discard these two, I'm trying to think. Well, I guess I only want to discard one of them. Because, like, I, I want to leave these two on top. And province. And we should just be able to do this every turn, and I don't think there's going to be any catching up on that side. Um, let's see. Grotto, clerk, clerk. Uh, I have what I need, so two estates. One, two, three, four. Take the key, province. Yeah. I mean, it was it was the grotto. It was the opening grotto. I don't think there was anything anything else about that. Um, to your start. All right, we're back. Um, there's going to be a weird pause there because somehow we had two games that just refused to start, uh, which was really bizarre. Uh, what do we have here? Um, wharf. Uh, I think I mean we're gonna we're gonna start urchin urchin. I don't think like gunning for recruiters is actually a particularly good idea. Uh, maybe I could I could kind of actually go either way on that one. Um, I think like most of it's just gonna be wharf bandit camp though. Uh, so we're just gonna start double urchin and hope for the best. Uh, well, that would have been an amazing stampede if I had been able to do it. Uh, on the other hand, I think we're pretty likely to reach um, Kalai down there, so that's a good thing. I think I'm going to take a silver, even though it's probably a little bit ill-advised, just kind of guessing that I'm going to hit the numbers. Uh, yeah, vag Vagrant's got to be better than nothing. Okay, so you're going to collide urchins here and you already have a recruiter, so I think that actually puts you a little bit ahead despite me having uh, collided stuff and being able to do this. Uh, I guess I could also consider like a stampede right here over the recruiter, um, just to make sure that I play Merc again next turn. That seems reasonable. Um, if you didn't collide urchins here, that's like a total disaster for you. Yeah, okay. And in fact, you actually have recruiter Merc in there, so it's it's actually looking pretty okay on that side, despite the the early issues. Um. Please find a mercenary. Ugh. All right. Well, I don't like burning through all the horses, but it was clearly necessary. Um, and I think I'm going to take a recruiter right here over over Wharf. Uh, yep. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I should have considered this drawing mercenary, but I didn't, and I guess it's fine that I didn't. Um, 
I think another silver is just fine. We're going to look at recruiting the Vagrant, I think. Well, I'm going to play the Vagrant and think about recruiting silver is what's actually going to happen. This should be Wharf. You're pretty far ahead already. Um, I mean, I got my five coin hand hit, right? That's That's what it really kind of is. I guess looking at that shuffle stampede does make sense. Alright, wharf time, or do I take a bandit camp first? That's actually, I think, a real question. Uh, I'm definitely not taking stampede. I think I think I should take wharf first. Like, I can get a at least one wharf. Okay, let's let's do wharf first. Let's not be like try to be weird about this. Um, we we know how we know how wharf works. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything weird. I could at least think about. I could have at least thought about trashing the silver, but I didn't, so it didn't happen. Um, I could, I could totally see Bandit Camp first, though. Like, I don't think that's, I don't think it's that clear cut. Uh, fortunately I did find Wharf, which is really nice. Uh, I'm gonna stop here and take another one, I think? Before the Bandit Camps? Start. You can tell my certainty on this one. Like, I have the second silver. I think I can afford... I think I can afford it. Yeah. I feel like I'm just asking for it if I if I don't, really. Um, you find your wharf, you'll find your recruiter, you'll find your uh, other stuff. Um, I'm gonna discard Sylvie here because my intent is actually to recruit the Vagrant and then trash out these coppers. Um, I guess you probably don't have room for another wharf, but that's actually fine. You can just take the bandit camp and be pretty happy about it. Like this is this is clear bandit camp for you, I think. An upgrade. Oh, that also seems not the most unreasonable thing ever. Um, yeah, so I'm going to recruit the Vagrant. Uh, this seems okay. And then I'm going to have seven. I'm going to do a seven. Eats me. Uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't play Merc this turn. I could go like Bandit Camp Vagrant too. That seems possibly better. And then we'll get the we'll get the trash in next turn. Maybe a little bit ambitious, but I think it's okay. Because like you should be relatively out of stuff to trash, or at least you're trashing it to upgrade these days. So I should really only be affected by one, um, one discard as opposed to two. I mean, I think the upgrade made a lot of sense for you, but... Like, over Bandit Camp. Okay. Um, I can draw everything without playing the recruiter, right? Yeah. So this is ten. Um, I don't know if it should be bandit camp, bandit camp, or bandit camp wharf. Um, I could also consider upgrade, but I don't think so. Uh. 
Like, I should be able to draw enough for Bandit Camp, Bandit Camp, right? I don't know, like, what little bit of economy I'm getting extra out of that, but I think it should be fine. We'll be able to merc trash something else, like Copper Vagrant. You ditched your Merc? No. Like, one thing I'm thinking is that if somebody ditches their Merc, you might go familiar. I don't think so, but it's at least a thought that should cross your mind. Um, I don't... I, I don't think so, though. You've definitely lost it on economy. I felt like I was behind early, but now I feel like I'm doing actually quite well. Um, Worf. Uh, so that's two spoils. If I trash uh, Vagrant Copper, I'm going to hit 16. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Uh, and that would be like double bandit camp wharf, maybe. Could also consider double wharf bandit camp. Uh, I think it's double bandit camp wharf, though. I should have enough draw for, for that. Um, lose the recruiter. Can always trash silver to merc if I need to. Um, maybe this upgrade was quite bad. It seems plausible, anyways. Um, urchin. Uh, I might have to recruit out the the thing. Um, what is that? That's a spoil, so it hit nineteen. Uh, if I trash Recruiter Silver, which is actually something that I totally couldn't do, get away with, I would hit 20. So that seems like the thing to do. Oh, I don't hit 20. I'm stupid. Whatever. Well, maybe I stop here then. Because like, what I really want here is um, Bandit Camp, Bandit Camp... Or maybe I want Bandit Camp Double Wharf. I don't know. I think I want Bandit Camp Bandit Camp Wharf. And then I could add, I don't know, a, another Vagrant. Like, I, I, I definitely want, I definitely want the last two Bandit Camps. So, like, Bandit Camp Bandit Camp Wharf, I don't know what. Maybe just another silver. It could be a warehouse, too. Let's add the warehouse and think I'm probably going to end up trashing this. Um, Mark can discard. Like, I don't know. I think I think I'm much better off economy-wise this way. There's some concern about like piles or whatever, um, where maybe I'm not going to end up with a draw necessarily. Yeah, like we're we're fine here. Um, so this is this so this is twenty three. Um, so like you have five. You you theoretically have enough gains to pile out if I if I. Province. Well, I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to province first, make you declare the mountain pass. Well, I think I need another wharf no matter what, so, like, huh. 
so yeah, let's let's province first. Uh, you have like thirteen coins, so vagrants are possible but unlikely. Um, I'll probably give you almost whatever you bid. Uh, if it's if it's something highish, like eleven, like I think I'm fine with that, and I just take province wharf, or even double wharf. Because, like, I don't think Vagrants or Urchins is going to be possible for you with 11 debt. So, we're, we'll pass here. Uh, for sure. Uh, I know I want at least one Wharf. Uh, maybe I do just take Province, too. Could also think about Upgrade. I don't think so, though. Um, so like, let's see here. So you had, um, spoils, spoils. So you actually held a spoil. So you have actually like 16 money. I should probably just take another province and, and live with it. Uh, cause I'll have 23. Like I'll have enough, I'll have enough to pile on no points. Um, and then I don't want anything else. If, if you don't score, I'll have enough to pile. Oh, I guess I won't, because I won't have the buys. It's all right. I'll, I'll live. I'll live. Whoa, that's a lot of spoils. No, that's like the expected number of spoils. Right. Um, I guess I totally could have taken that wharf. Oh, well. So, like, I have 23, I can theoretically increase it to 24. Um, or 25, I guess. You, I think there's, like, zero way that you reach, um... Like, what, you have... You have nine, nine in spoils, nine there. So you have like 18 and you can, uh, potentially take the wharf. I don't think there's a way for you to reach more than that. Um, just do it this way. I don't think there's a way for you to reach more than that. Um, so like, I don't, I definitely don't want to take this wharf. Like, you can do 18 plus a wharf, so you could potentially pile vagrants and take one province. Um, as is. Uh, I don't think there's a way for you to get to 24. Right. Like, 18. There shouldn't be any spoils. No, there's going to be no spoils left. You can upgrade into... You can upgrade a wharf into gold. And you can mercenary, which would get you to 23. Potion. Uh, so I think 24 is actually completely impossible. Um, so, so I think two provinces is safe. Like, like you have one, two, three, that's nine, three silvers, one gold, uh, is, is 18. There's no copper around. You can upgrade into wharf gets you to, or you can upgrade wharf into gold or upgrade whatever recruiter into gold. No, whatever into gold which gets you to 21 and then you can um, whatever um, mercenary you can mercenary oh you can't mercenary okay never mind this is just fine 
Um, so two provinces, uh, a duchy. Is a duchy any good? Probably fine. Let's do it. And I'll skip on the vagrant. And this should be just fine. Um, the one thing I guess I might have a little bit of trouble with is, uh, yeah, because like, yeah, you, you can't reach 24. I'm like 99% sure. You, you just can't do it. Um, I'm over two provinces away, which means you can't go to Wharf, somehow buy out the Vagrants in double province. I don't know how that would work, but uh, you, you can't do it. Um, yeah. So I think I'm fine. Um, I'm basically guaranteed to get to three provinces this turn, I think. Or even if I don't, I'll be able to pile, most likely. Uh, considering your catch-up mechanisms. Um... So, I, I don't think there's actually a way for you to do this. Uh, we're discarding silver. We're going to hold the Merc for a while, or at least try to. Did I miss something? No, that was that was uh, Potion to Dachi. Yeah, so this is, this is totally fine. Um, I think there's basically no way that I'm not at least doubling. And I definitely have triple available if I really wanted it. Uh, I'll just... Okay. Yeah, okay. And we're back again. <laughs> Been that kind of match, I guess. Um, alright. What do we have here? Cultist. We have Cultist. Uh, but we have Maroon, so I don't think Cultist is actually going to be that impressive. Uh, you can just Maroon the Ruins for lots of cards, right? Uh, I guess I'm going to start out Maroon Silver. Quartermaster looks actually really good because of Port. Um, and I mean, I'll go from there. Uh, you have a 2-5. I would not open Cultist, I don't think, anyways. I mean, what that's really tempting me to do is take another Maroon, but... I mean, I guess I'm not actually going to because I have 6, so I'm going to take Quartermaster instead. Um, I think I actually don't want to take another Silver here. Uh, just because I actually don't really want to put that in my deck quite yet. Um, Rune abandoned mine. Uh, I can take some ports. That seems good. Yeah. All right. I, I'm really liking where I'm at. I'm going to take another quartermaster right here. I'm I'm continuing to think that cultist is just no good at all. Um. So I'm going to put quartermaster. Or put Maroon in there. Uh, I could take another set of ports. That seems reasonable. Uh, just given where the deck's at. Take the Maroon. Port Maroon Survivors. Look at all these cards that I'm getting. Um. Hunting grounds? It's awfully tempting. Like I'm I'm managing the the ruins I think pretty well. 
Oh, yeah, let's let's get ourselves a hunting grounds. I think cultists is just like straight trash. Uh, I'll set a mar another maroon aside, and I guess we'll set ports aside. And just make sure that that can get going when I want it to. Uh, another quartermaster seems fine. I think I feeling like I can't have too many of those. All right, let's um. Let's see, I don't feel like I need the ports yet. Let's go and set aside a... Well, let's get the last port. And then let's uh, set aside a candlestick maker. Whee! Don't need to draw another quartermaster. Maybe I just start buying provinces. Like, what do I actually need to do here? The quartermasters have me, I think, pretty well in good shape for most anything. Um, like, I have I have maroon. I have ports set aside, so I I should be good for drawing. Um, I guess the only thing I'm thinking is like I can take yet another quartermaster before I start greening. That seems fine. I mean, like what's gonna what's gonna happen here? Um. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do an estate with this one. I need that maroon to have a turn, and I'm gonna take a port just to, again, make sure that I have a turn. Look at all this draw. It's amazing. Um, alright. Quartermaster. I think now I'm just gonna province. Like, what more is there to do? Yeah. So my plan is, let's see, we're going to do an estate with this one. I'll take the candlestick maker. Um, I could like start setting aside silver. I don't think it's that good. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a salvager and maybe take another estate. Whoops, undo. I didn't want to take that for it. I wanted to gain a gain an estate as opposed to take it, which apparently mean different things these days. Um, candlestick maker. I could trash out copper here. I don't know that that's that good. Well, no, I can I can trash out a copper and then play the abandoned mine and and hit province this way. Um, let's see. Will I have a win here? Not quite. Pretty close. I mean, I think you should have just opened Quartermaster. I mean, Cultus, Cultus was just straight up bad because of Maroon and Abundant Villages. Um, but I also feel like the the three four is distinctly like not good. Um, let's just do some estates. Uh, I want I want the salvager though. Uh, I guess I can do ruins with these two and like think about salvaging the hunting grounds for the last three estates. Uh, let's just do the ruins. So maybe a little bit overly ambitious, but I think it's probably okay. Um, here, three estates, and we can just. 
that was a match. Um, yeah. Um, I guess I won all of those. Uh, it didn't really feel like I was... I, f I felt like, you know, I was playing a little bit better, but I also feel like I was, you know, kind of getting, I don't know what advantages of whatever. Um, I, I just felt like I was, I was seeing things really well and you maybe were a little bit behind on some of them. And I mean, that, that's, that's the difference at this, that can just be a huge difference at this level. So it's what happened and, uh, see you all.